Thank you for choosing Tap and Go Flooring. Tap and Go has been widely used in laminate flooring, PVC floating flooring, solid strand woven bamboo flooring, solid bamboo flooring, engineer and hardwood flooring. As each flooring manufacturer has his own specific installation instructions, you need to know the manufacturer and product name before you proceed installation. Otherwise, you risk avoiding the warranty of the floor. Read and follow the manufacturer's instructions, and you will end up with a quality floor that will last for years. Tap and go flooring structure. This is the up hook, and this is the low hook. Four size locking. This is the long side up hook, and this is the short side up hook. This is the long side low hook, and this is the short side low hook. Four sides are in the same structure. Tap and go installation. Preparation. Before we start, we should prepare enough tools and accessory: molding, underlayment, rubber mallet, measuring tape, chopping saw, adhesive tape, spade, etc. Glue, tapping block, and pulling bar are not required. Acclimation. Before installation. Put the flooring in the room for 48 to 72 hours to acclimate to the room temperature and humidity. 5% wastage of the flooring is a general requirement for a regular room. All flooring gets expansion or contraction based on room temperatures and humidity levels. The floor must be able to expand in all directions, as the humidity of the room can vary due to differences between seasons. The greater the surface area, the greater the room for expansion required. To facilitate this, an expansion gap 8 mm to 10 mm is provided at walls. Job Site Inspection We should make inspection of the room before installation. Firstly, the concrete floor needs to be smooth, clean, thoroughly dry, and no possibility of leaking water and the uneven difference should be less than 2 mm. If not, use the spade to make it smooth when it goes up or use cement to make it level if goes in. If you are ready to install new floor upon an existing wood floors, the moisture difference should be less than 4% and keep the creeping space under the wood floor be sufficiently ventilated. Any loose parts must be nailed down and if necessary, a leveling outer floor must be installed. The door or door frame and the floor should have an approximate height difference about 5 mm. Underlayment layout. Put the underlayment on the concrete floor. Make sure the plastic facing the concrete floor and the foam up. Also, please put the second piece of the underlay to the plastic area of the first piece. Then tape the underlayment very well and confirm that they are with the same height. 3 mm thick underlay is recommended. Start installing the floor on one corner, from left to right, or from the middle of the area. Always remember that the easiest way of installing the tap and go floor is positioning the up hook into the low hook. To realize this, please always have the low hook edges in front of you during installation. In these installation instructions, we will begin with installing tap and go floor in the left hand corner. Firstly, take four tap and go panels and place them ready in the corner where you want to begin installation in order to facilitate a stagger effect of end joints row to row. The first row should be started within a full plank, the second row with a two third plank, and the third row with a one third plank. The smallest piece should never be less than 200 mm long and the width should never be less than 2 inches. First, saw through panel 2 so that you have a piece 2 3rd plank long. Then, place your feet on panel 1 and position the up hook of panel 2 into the low hook of panel 1. After positioning, 
you should see there is a gap along the joint area when use the rubber mallet to tap the uphook joint area. The panels will then lock into place together. If panel 2 does not stay flat or if the joint is not perfectly tight, this is a sign that the joint has not been fully made. If this is the case, please either lift up panel 2 and redo as above or give some more tapping along the uphook joint area until they lock together. Now install the panel 3. Position the short side uphook of panel 3 into the short side low hook of panel 1 and tap the uphook joint area as stated. Make sure that panels 1 and 3 are perfectly aligned to each other. Next, place both feet on panels 1 and 3. Now position the long side uphook of panel 4 into the long side low hook of panel 1 and 3. With the short side uphook of panel 4 parallel to the short side low hook of panel 2 and then pressing down. Then begin tapping the uphook joint area on the long edge of panel 4 from far side to the near side along and after the long edges of panel 4 and 3 clicking together. Start tapping the uphook joint area on the short edge of panel 4 from far end to near end until the short edges of panel 4 and 2 clicking together. Now you have joined the first four panels and have got used to the technique. Then use the same technique and finish the first four rows. Now push the whole unit against the wall and fill in the expansion joint, 8 to 10 mm, with spacer blocks. From the fifth row on, finish off each row at a time, each time joining the panel along its long edge, then along its short edge and each time tapping as instructed above. You can use the leftover pieces that you have at the end of each row as the beginning panels of the next row. That way, you should make the best possible use of each panel. After installing your floor, you can immediately walk on it and begin the finishing process, such as remove all spacer blocks, fix moldings, etc. Converse installation. Usually, we do not recommend you install tap and go floor conversely. However, sometimes, if you need, please do as following. First converse panel. In case converse installation, please start from right to left. Place your feet on the row where you need converse installation. Position the long side low hook of the first converse panel into the long side up hook of the previous row panel. After positioning, you should see there is gap along the joint area. Then use the rubber mallet to tap the uphook joint area. The panels will lock into place together. Second converse panel. Position the low hook on the long edge of the second converse panel onto the uphook on the long edge of the previous row panel and the uphook on the short edge. Parallel to the low hook on the short edge of the first converse panel. Then use the rubber mallet to tap the uphook joint area along the long edges first and then the short edges until they click in together. Repeat the second panel installation until the conversely installed panels are finished. Precautions Whether in case of a direct away or a converse installation, please always install as per following principles. During tapping, it is suggested to hold one third area to the end of mallet. Don't hold the front area. Tapping always begins from far side to the near side of your body. 3. While tapping, always make sure that the two panels are in the same level and in full touch with the ground. 4. If two panels are not in the same level, please put a piece of 2 mm plywood under the joint area or spay the concrete floor to be smooth. While tapping the short edge joint area, we strongly recommend that you use your hand or finger to press the exposed edges of the position of panels so that the panels are in full touch with the ground. If the underfloor is extremely uneven, first use finger press the low hook of panel 2, then tap the joint area. 5. For any installation, the starting row should be as straight as possible. Please don't continue if your first two rows are not straight or the panels are not locked in. 6. Do not tap one area consistently. 
no matter direct away or converse installation. Please always remember to tap the area of 20 mm to the uphook joint area. Removing a panels. If there is something wrong with the panels, then you should remove it. Using your left hand to pull up the panels you want to remove. Meantime, tapping the area which close to the joint point of the previous row slightly until the lock loose. Pull up the joint area of two panels slightly and lay down. Then the two panels detached easily. Maintenance The elegant tap and go flooring needs your good maintenance. 1. Do not install floor in the high moisture place. 2. Do not use the broken plank. 3. Do not use the wet mop. 4. No chemicals materials flood on the flooring. 5. No need polish and painting. 6. Air humidity more than 80% need pumping. Less than 30% need increase. 7. Open the window at regular intervals when there are no people living. Advantages of tap and go 1. Trusted quality material The distinctive design of tap and go structure and the installation by the vertical force can only be achieved by high quality HDF or semi finished material. Flooring with tap and go system stands for trusted internal quality, which is not easy verified to common consumers. 2. Reliable eco friendly Tap and go locking system flooring has high requirement on the raw material. The formaldehyde emission rate of the high quality materials is far below that of normal or low quality, thereby ensuring environmental friendly floor. Moreover, tap and go locking system needs no glue, no kill during installation, which truly helps you realize the formaldehyde free living environment. 3. Tangibly stronger lock. Four side locking. Tap and Go's special four size locking technology ensures the installed floors hard to dispart after installation. The design of elasticity groove applies the elasticity deformation theory, makes planks truly firmly locked together. 4. More stable flooring. 5. Longer life flooring. Features of special design Vertical insertion principle and high precise machining of tap and go locking system requires high stability standard upon all related data, such as techniques, facilities, and dimension precision. Because of that, tap and go locking system floorings are more stable and have better adaptability for the environment, will help to preserve your floors in a longer lifetime. 6. Significant cost and labor saving. Comparing with traditional locking system, tap and go is much easier in installation with less labor, tools and supplementary material. No kill, no nail, no pulling bar. Moreover, tap and go locking system hardwood Engineered and bamboo flooring can be uninstalled and reused for many times, which significantly saves forest resources and protects environment, showing super economization. 7. Personalized effects achievable. Tap and go locking system flooring is much easier and more convenient for installation in rooms of irregular shapes. Following the cater corner installation, Consumers could install flooring according to their own preference, which makes the floor's appearance more elegant and beautiful. 8. Easier and faster installation Most of consumers are hard to get DIY pleasure due to the complicated installation of traditional locking system. Tap and go locking technology applies a new installation concept, for example, vertical insertion, making full use of the theory of ergonomic, making installation easier to adapt to the human psychology and physiology. Installation can be finished by only one person independently, 
All above make complicated installation procedures much simpler. 9. Trouble-free replacement Where one panel in the middle area is broken, Tap & Go offers you easier way to replace a new one. After fetching out the broken one by special equipment, take a new panel, then you just need to saw off the short side low hook and install it conversely. The left three sides of the hook can also lock the floor with others firmly. Choose Tap & Go. Choose a better life. This low-carbon patent technology is far beyond an innovative locking system.